question. Let us see some points regarding horizontal gazes and then I'll tell you the answer. Most of you are getting the answer correct. That is upbeat nystagmus because it is a horizontal gaze problem. So there is a horizontal nystagmus, a taxic nystagmus in internuclear ophthalmoplegia. But let me tell you some points regarding gaze centers and the horizontal gazes uh, today. So we have this cortex, midbrain, pons and we have this six nerve nucleus at the level of pons. Along with six nerve, we have this PPRF that is pontine paramedian reticular formation known as PPRF. Okay, so what happens is the impulse six nerve gives rise uh, gives uh, impulses to lateral rectus of the same side, but you want to know that the impulse is generated in the PPRF. Some people say that impulse generated in PPRF goes to six nerve. Some goes some says from six nerve to PPRF. Point to be noted is. This PPRS and 6 nerve are the 6 nerve nuclear complex, okay, which are involved in horizontal gazes. But now you see, see this right PPRF is supplying, is controlling the right lateral letters via right 6 nerve nucleus, that is okay. But this right PPRF is also giving, is also controlling left medial rectus. But left medial rectus is controlled by third nerve. So yes, this is, this black one is nothing but third nerve medial rectus nucleus. And it is passing through these fibers which are joining one nucleus to another nucleus that is internuclear fibers. Other name is medial longitudinal fasciculus. <laughs> they are medially going up and they are fascicles, bundle of nerves that is MLF but on the opposite side. So right PPRF controls right LR and left MR, but left MR is via left MLF, left third nerve nucleus. This is, and that is why, see, right PPRF is controlling lateral lectus and opposite medial lectus. So if the patient is want to look on the right dextro version, these two are yoke muscles. That is why PPRF is known as horizontal gaze centers. <laughs> it is controlling the horizontal gazes. So PPRF is horizontal gaze center, vertical gaze center, you, you must be knowing it's a factual thing, rostral interstitial nucleus of Kahal. Alright, I'll give you some extra points today. For example, this right PPRF is having destruction, lesion. What will happen? <clears throat> right LR will not work properly and also the left MR will not work properly. Now you'll say the so left MR is supplied by third nerve also. Yeah, I agree. But this is a center PPRF, so entire pathway is not working. So that is why in right PPR ablation, the patient will come to you with this, eyes deviated on the left side. But here the patient gazes conjugate. <laughs> so no diplopia will be there in this patient. All right, so that is right PPRF. If right MLF is destroyed, MLF is also known as internuclear. So if right MLF is destroyed, that is known as right internuclear ophthalmoplegia. What happens in this? right MR will not work properly but right third nerve is still functioning and left PPRF is still functioning so some fibers from third nerve are still coming to MR that is why in primary position there will be no squint right MR is not functioning properly I agree but right third nerve is still functioning and left PPRF is still functioning that is why in primary position there is no squint that is in the options but the problem will arise when the patient will make his right MR move and that is in levo version. In levo version, left LR and right MR are working as yoke muscles. Left MR, left LR is working properly. So left eye will go towards left side, yes, left abduction, but right MR is not able to come, is not able to adduct. This is, and the yoke muscles, one is not able to move properly, other is moving, that will generate a horizontal here nystagmus that is a taxic horizontal nystagmus <clears throat> here left eye is moving abducting so left abduction nystagmus in right MLF lesions most common cause in youngs multiple sclerosis in elderly people vascular lesions like diabetes mellitus <clears throat> okay that was the answer that uh, today's question there was no Yeah, straight eyes in primary position, defective adduction of the side of the lesion, horizontal nystagmus, that's incorrect, 
and convergence can be normal yes in one of the times there is a posterior lesion then convergence is normal but if there is a an anterior lesion convergence can be affected so that is also extra point to be remembered okay but extra point i'll tell you today from pprf and mlf we have seen different lesions lastly if i tell you if both of them pprf plus mlf are destroyed together that is what will happen right pprf controlling right lr and left mr and right mlf is controlling right mr so one eye is completely destroyed other eye is half muscle destroyed that is known as one and a half syndrome seen in same side pprf plus mlf lesions how will the patient present to you in primary see lr is working properly so primary position right eye is center left eye of course lr is working properly when the patient looks towards the left again same position because this muscle this muscle and this muscle is not working properly and of course here there will be nystagmus because it is a extension of ino it's extension of right ino so left abduction nystagmus has to be there why because right mr and left lr one joke muscle working and one joke muscle is not functioning but on the extra version the position will be like this but no nystagmus why because right lr and left mr are completely not working that's why both muscles are completely not working so no nystagmus in dextro version but yes nystagmus left abduction in levo version that is one and a half syndrome seen in ipsilateral pprf plus mlf lesion one step further if along with PPRF plus MLF, seventh nerve is also destroyed. So math summary is good, right? So one and a half plus seven, how much is it? Eight and a half syndrome. Okay. How will you come to this fifteen and a half syndrome? Bilateral seventh nerve palsy plus one side one and a half is fifteen and a half. And math summary is good. So eight and a half is PPRF plus MLF plus seven. If eighth nerve is also involved, so eight plus eight, sixteen and a half syndrome is same side PPRF, same side MLF plus seven plus eight, that is sixteen and a half syndrome. But I think for your PG exam level, only one until one and a half is okay for you.